The Calendar Method Hello, welcome to our video series on contraceptive methods. In this video, I am going to tell you about the calendar method and show you how to use both the calendar and the cycle beads. This method helps you figure out the days of your cycle when you're most likely to get pregnant. On those days, you either avoid sex or use condoms to prevent pregnancy. You can only get pregnant during your fertile time of the month. Let's see what happens inside your body. Each month, soon after your monthly bleeding, your body prepares itself for starting a pregnancy. These next days, between the 8th day through the 19th day of every cycle, are the days you can get pregnant. When you have sex with a man, millions of sperm swim up in search of an egg. Sperm can stay alive inside you for up to five days and wait for the egg. Usually between days 12 and 18, an egg is released from your ovary and travels through the tube towards your uterus. The lining inside your uterus starts to grow to nourish a possible pregnancy. The egg lives less than a day. If it is joined by a sperm, a pregnancy can start. If the sperm does not join the egg, the egg is reabsorbed by your body and you are no longer fertile. Then the lining in your uterus is not needed and you have your monthly bleeding. By tracking your cycle day by day and avoiding sex or using condoms during your fertile time, you can avoid getting pregnant. For this method to work, you must have regular monthly cycles. This means that you have about the same number of days in each cycle and your cycles last between 26 and 32 days. This is not a good method if you have irregular cycles have recently had a baby, are breastfeeding, or have used a hormonal method in the past three months. Your man must be willing to help make this method work because during your fertile times, you must either use condoms or not have vaginal sex. Sometimes a woman's monthly cycle can change unexpectedly and people don't always keep track well so you can get pregnant using this method. If it's very important for you to avoid pregnancy, you can choose a more effective method of contraception, such as the implant, the IUD, or the injection. Let's see how the calendar method works. The first way you can track your fertility cycle is using a calendar. The first day of your monthly bleeding will be day one. A woman is generally fertile between the eighth day through the 19th day of every cycle. So you'll need to avoid sex or use condoms during that time. You can have sex on all the other days of the cycle. Days one through seven at the beginning of your monthly bleeding and after day 19. If your cycle is shorter than 26 days or longer than 32 days, the calendar method is not reliable for you. Another way you can track your cycle is by using cycle beads. They are a color-coded string of beads that show the fertile and the infertile days of your cycle. Each bead represents a day of your monthly cycle. On the first day of your monthly bleeding, day one, you move the rubber ring to the red bead. The next day, you move the ring to the next bead, a brown bead. You move the ring ahead by one bead each day. Brown bead days 
are safe days, when pregnancy is not likely and you can have unprotected sex. White bead days are days when you can become pregnant. You should avoid vaginal sex or use a condom. If your monthly bleeding begins again before reaching the dark brown bead, your cycle is too short to use this method. If your monthly bleeding does not begin by the day after you reach your last brown bead, your cycle is too long to use this method. Let's see that again. Start using cycle beads on the first day of your monthly bleeding. Move the rubber ring to the red bead. Each day, move the rubber ring to the next bead. Brown bead days are safe days. You can have sex. White bead days are not safe. You need to avoid sex or use a condom. Brown bead days are safe again. Your cycle is too short to use this method if you have your monthly bleeding before you reach the dark brown bead. If you finish the beads without seeing your monthly bleeding, your cycle is too long to use this method. There are also apps that you can use to keep track of your cycle. For example, iCycle Beads. It features a calendar and cycle beads that work the same way as the necklace. You must continue to have regular monthly bleeding for calendar methods to work for you. If your cycle changes, you should use condoms until your cycle becomes regular again for several months. If you choose this method, you will need a calendar or cycle beads and a good supply of condoms for your fertile days, as well as for protection from sexually transmitted infections. Only condoms do that. Keep these points in mind. For the calendar method to work, you need to have a cooperative partner. You need a regular bleeding cycle between 26 and 32 days. And you need to avoid sex or use condoms on your fertile days. Learn all you can about your contraceptive method so you feel confident and safe and become pregnant only if and when you want to. You're worth it.